Oh, welcome in a new video about Stonksy. Well, we discussed how to set up Stonksy, um, also how to use it on uh, different time frames. And this time I wanted to focus on the one minute time frame. Um, for a lot of traders, it's uh, difficult to trade the one minute, but I want to show you how the background color is in the, the one minute time frame combined with Stonksy. Uh, an important uh, one. So what we can actually see is that we have uh, a red background and a green background and also some time periods where we absolutely uh, do nothing. So how can you trade this? Because the one minute goes very fast, but we're just going to see how, uh, how accurate the background color is. And for this, I... I'm not even going to combine it with support or resistance levels. We're just going to follow what the indicator is saying. So in that case, I've put it on uh, 3x uh, speed and we're just going to see how Stonksy reacts. So you can see here green background. That means as soon as Stonksy turns into a green background is that you open a position. Well, it got red again. So that means that you already needed to close it. But if you look at when Stonksy made the call, it's a small range to the upside. Well, if you look at what is happening um, from this point right here. So let me take uh, a line with it, the vertical line. So let's say over here, we'll make it green. And um, let's copy and paste that, move it to the, left, uh, to the right. Then you can actually see that it takes some good moves. Well, because the one minute is always a very small time frame, it's very difficult to, to trade it. So, uh, But it shows the uh, accuracy of the bot itself. So now it says do nothing still do nothing so it turned the background turned red so what i will do is i will set it over here um, this is basically it's uh, difficult to trade on the one minute i've tested it on the one minute um, i've done a 500 usd account with uh, 20x leverage and basically i tested it for about an hour in some high volat uh, volatile markets and i got out with uh, around 50 dollars in profit so that was not bad but you need to be very fast and you need to keep uh, at attention to what the background color is saying so well we can see here it turns green again if i would say Let's copy and paste that line till the moment it got the green again. Then you have another uh, solid short position. And maybe you got in a bit later. So if we take it to the downside, see, it's our very small percentages. But it is accurate. And that's the most important thing. So we're just going to, to follow and see how the price reacts. To the one minute chart on Stonksy. So keep in mind, look at that red background and that green background. So it can be, when you're scalping, for example, it can be a very effective tool to, um, to have to your uh, scalping strategy just to make sure that the confirmation of the trade is correct. And if you're next level and you can figure out a way to combine this with uh, a trading bot that um, that has zero fees. Well, then in that case, or zero trading fees, then you have a very effective weapon uh, to trade the financial financial markets. So sometimes it doesn't give a background color. That also means that you don't do anything. So. But again, if we say, let's see what it have, has done over here or over here. Let's start with the short position. Well, you can actually see when it called the short position. And we draw that to the downside. Well, 0.7%. That's not bad. But the other thing is that you can 
notice about it is that if we look at the line, it never have broken the uh, the line to the bullish side. So we never uh, came to the the plus side. It was all on the uh, minus side. So that means a nice bearish trade. If you look what is happening here, then again um, we're looking at the the green background, and if we were to measure. Uh, that piece then again you get nice 0.5 percent trade out of it so it's it's a challenge of course to trade one minute like it always is um but with strong it will make things a bit easier so that is for the one minute you can also take a look at how the three minute reacts that one is also very accurate but then, like you can see, there is less background, but also it is um, catching nicer or nicer. It's catching nice positions. So, uh, so like you can see here, uh, a long position, a short position. And uh, what's also effective is that now you can also use that uh, minus uh, minus one line and also the plus one line too. Uh, make a confirmation of your uh, trade. So in this case, you can see that Stongxi is uh, the, bearish, the most bearish period is cooling off. You can see it turns pink and that might indicate that we're going back to an upwards trend. Well, what does it also show is that you can see here that there is already a small piece. So over here, a small piece of green on the chart so that means you can enter for a long position so let's see how it reacts under three minutes well that is a lovely position to have well it turns red again and that means that you need to close the position but if we would have measured if we're me me uh, going to measure this from the minus zero so combined with the background color change well, how big was that posi that position? So we're looking at a uh, one point thirty three percent trade. That is good. That is uh, that is effective. So we can just actually see it doesn't give anything of information at this point in time. That's also indicate that we're doing nothing. Every time the line tur turns into dark green, that indicates a uh, strong bullish momentum. But like you can see, it cooled off, it has taken the short position. Now again, it's below that zero line. It's in, you need to do, uh, don't need to do anything. So if you see how Stonks reacts um, before the, the market movements uh, actually happen, it's a very effective tool. Um, so I will leave it up on the screen for a little bit so you can see how it is reacting to the market and how many positions it's going to give. What is also what also is an option is to go to a five minute chart. And there you can see also when the crossover happens, but also the the turnaround. But the what I've noticed about the five minute is that the background color doesn't change as much as on the one minute or the three minutes. So in this case, we can need to look at all aspects of the indicators. Uh, so the background color, uh, bullish or bearish, but also we need to see how the crossover points are like you can see here on the zero line the plus one line and the minus line so what you can see here for example is it got bullish again yeah, if you can enter there and exit at the high point of strong C, well then you have another nice trade um, so it makes life a lot easier and the higher the time frame gets, the, the easier it becomes. But as far as I've seen from my uh, personal testing is that 
the one minute is absolutely insane. You can trade it. Uh, yeah, it does take a lot of skill, but it is possible to actually trade the one minute on Stonksy. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.